What is good, everybody? This is Lonely Beat, and I am back playing NBA 2K16. But this is not my team mode. This is Play Now Online. I wanted to give you guys some review tips or whatever you want to call it, and I'm going to try and go through every team. But right now, I'm going to go through the Tier 3 teams, starting off with the Detroit Pistons. They are a very underrated team. You're going to want to run your team through their star, which is Andre Drummond. This dude is a beast. He has a 95 standing dunk, 89 driving dunk, 96 hands, and that's really great for a big man. He is an elite rebounder with 90 plus in all of the rebounding stats. You want to use him in the pick and roll to create mismatches and take it to the rack all day now next is brandon jennings he's a solid playmaker he's a little quicker than your average point guard um, he's just an average ball handler but good enough to run the pick and roll with andre drummond he has above average passing skills so he's not going to turn over the ball too much he's going to be pretty accurate and don't force the three ball with this guy i know the kind of everyone thinks that brandon jennings can shoot really good he has some high stats. He can hit him when he's open, but don't force it. Now, Reggie Jackson, he's Brandon Jennings' backup. Throw Reggie in when Brandon Jennings gets tired. Use him the same way, but do not shoot threes with him under any circumstance. He's not going to hit him. Don't do it. You're going to waste possessions. Turn over the ball. Give your, other, give your opponent a fast break score or something like that. Don't shoot the three with Reggie Jackson. Ursan Ilyasova is a mismatch. That's your power forward. Go ahead, hop into practice mode, practice his jump shot, and get familiar with it because once it's perfected, you can hit shots from all over the court. This guy's perfect for pick and fades, so you can keep running that pick and roll offense, but he can hit shots from all over the court. If you utilize him correctly, it can ruin your opponent because he complements Andre Drummond very well with the in and out game. He could stand out there and hit threes all day. Moving on to Jody Meeks. He's not the player he once used to be. On past 2Ks, this guy could shoot all day, shoot threes from everywhere. Don't do it in 2K16. 2K16 shooting is different. He cannot knock them down consistently. Just use Jody Meeks as a short athletic wing that can crash in the paint and knock down the occasional jump, jumper. He's pretty fast. Get him out on fast breaks. Use him as an athletic wing. That's it. Contavious Caldwell Pope. This guy is a straight up athlete. He's really young. He's 6'5 with 87 speed, which is scary. He can knock down the three ball, although his stats say different. And you can use his athleticism to your advantage. This guy is a pretty decent backup, or pretty not even a backup. I usually start him. He's really decent for the guard position. Moving on to Stanley Johnson. He's very similar to Caldwell Pope, but he is slower at 73 speed. He's better at defense than offense, but he can be used as a slasher and an athletic wing out on the break. Take it to the rack with him, but... Usually, you're going to want to use your other offensive scores instead of him. Marcus Morris, he is Ursan Ilyasova's backup. Use him just like Ursan Ilyasova. He can do just about the same thing. Aaron Baines, use him only when Andre Drummond is tired. He's going to be in there. He's your backup center. He's going to get some jobs done, but you want to have Andre Drummond on the court as much as possible. Make sure he gets his rest. Throw Baines in there, kind of mess with your lineups and stuff, and you'll be all right. Um, Anthony Tolliver, he can shoot, but when you have Urson and Mar Marcus Morris, you don't need Anthony Tolliver to come in and play. Steve Blake, if for some reason Reggie Jackson gets hurt, then Steve is your backup. He can't shoot like he used to, but just use him conservatively until either Reggie Jackson or Brandon Jennings get back in the game. And for Spencer Dinwiddle, Reggie Bullock, Joel Anthony, and Cartier Martin, if you're using these guys, then you're probably going to lose. Anyways, guys, make sure 
to like this video if you like these type of reviews i'm going through all the tier three teams trying to try this out and see if this will be useful to you guys a lot of um, people like my team and stuff but i really think that play now is a really nice way to warm up before you get into road to playoffs before my team and i'm doing the tier three teams because you get extra points or whatever you want to call it for using these teams and i just want to give you guys a way to use them so man i'm gonna um, post some text down in this uh, description basically everything that i said going in depth about these players make sure to like this video if you like it leave comments these are all my opinion all opinion based um if you differ if your opinions differ go ahead and let me know but anyways man make sure to follow me on twitter at l-i-l-n-i-c-b-n as always make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe this is Lonely Beat, signing out.